Hello, my YouTube friends. My name is Priscilla, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to play Viva la Vida by Coldplay on your violin. As some of you may know, I made a video playing that song, and um, it's here in my channel. If you wanna check it out, please do so. Luckily, my video is going very well in views. I invite you to please watch it and give it a big thumbs up. And I got some comments saying that it was helpful for you to watch my video because you were learning to play that song. So I figured why not make a video showing you guys actually playing that song and just teaching you how I made the arrangement. Some of you were asking for the score. Well, I actually don't have a score. Um, and what I did was just watch David Garrett's version of this song and with that in, in, in hand I just did the arrangement in my head and I just started recording myself as I remembered. So this song is actually not very hard. In the recording I made like four or five voices of my same violin and what I did to add more body to the song was just add in GarageBand um, some, some percussions or a beat, or I don't know how you call it. So yeah, um, I got some help from my friend who is a photographer, he's an awesome photographer, so if you want to check his page out also please do so. Well I did the edition and the recording and everything, I did it in GarageBand and I did what I could but I think it turned out pretty well and you guys seem to like it so I'm very grateful for that. I hope that my video reaches even more views, with your help, of course. Um, so I'm gonna teach you how to play this, it's very, very easy. I'm gonna show you the steps that I follow just to make a song, if you wanna make a, uh, a recording for yourself, or if you wanna just learn how to play it. I'm gonna show you how to play it all with your violin. It's very fun, and you just um, follow my steps, and that's it. Also, uh, please check my social media. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, everything will be here in the description box if you want to check it out. I post videos regularly on Instagram of me playing 15 second covers or anything like that. So if you would like me to cover something, if you would like me to make a video about something you want to know about the violin, some tips or anything you want to ask me, please do so. Uh, or send me a message or send me something just that I know that you want to learn something. So yeah, I hope that you like my video and please thumb this up so I know that you like it and let's get started. So what I'm gonna do now is just uh, download an app so that I know what I'm doing, you know. Okay, so right now it's in Allegro. 120 I think that's a little bit slow so I'm gonna have it in 130 okay that's a good okay so first thing is first when you practice a song uh, it's essential that you use a metronome so that you're always on time and that you don't mess some parts up and you know it's good for studying so it's very like for violinists it's essential okay so the first part of the song is gonna be your bass so luckily this bass is all the same the same because the harmony is the same all throughout the song so it's very easy remember I'm with in 130 in my metronome so let's get started okay and that's basically all the song um, so I'm gonna tell you which notes I use Forgive me if I make some mistakes saying the notes because in Mexico we use actually do re mi fa sol la si do and not letters so I'm not very used to using letters when I'm referring to a note so I'm sorry but you get what I'm saying I'm just showing you right here so as I was saying you put your fourth finger on the 
G string to play D. Okay, and then you put your second finger on your D string to play F sharp. Okay, that's gonna be our first chord. So you play. And then you wanna change just the finger that you have on the D string to play E. Uh, to play E. Okay, so then it goes. And then you wanna change to C on the G string and just leave the E. I'm gonna close up for you so you can see better. step that I'm going to show you of the song is okay and that's all you've got to know about it let's put a metronome again I'm going to close up for you so you can actually see what I'm doing then up okay so with the metronome it goes like this Un, dos, tres, cuatro. okay so now that you know step one and step two we're gonna move on to the third step so the third step it's gonna be held in E string so in the, in the highest string of the violin so this part you want to use all the bow and unlike the other two previous parts that we're only using the lower part of the bow okay so I'm gonna go again with my metronome and we're gonna be playing this third step which is very easy and it's using the E string and going in A and then B and you want to use these three fingers second, third and fourth finger, okay? so it goes metronomic goes okay so now that you know the third step we're gonna move on to the fourth step so this one is a very easy one it's just I added this part just to add more body to the piece okay so it's gonna be one of the easiest um i know that i'm saying that all parts are easy but it's true it's just when doing a song in just one instrument and especially in the violin you've got to add more layers i think so that you have more body of the song because you don't have a cello or you don't have a piano that has lower notes and um, deeper sounds so you need more strength beneath so that the melody sounds actually nice so in this part in my recording I'm just using long notes in the G string so it goes like this part you've got to use a lot of uh, vibrato and a lot of bow just make it very smoothly and just think about flowers and birds and 
whatever. It's just to add more harmony to the song, more structure, as I was saying. So let's play with metronome. <laughs> Okay, so the next layer that I'm gonna be teaching you, the next step, I don't know if it's the fourth one or the fifth one, I don't know. I think I was wrong in saying that it was only four layers because it's clearly more than that. I'm sorry. So this layer goes like this. So we're gonna be starting in D string, okay? And you wanna play F sharp and then E. And then you wanna change to the G string. And then E. Okay, and then again. Okay, so I'm gonna play it with the metronome. Un, dos, tres, cuatro. So finally I'm gonna show you how to play the melody on top of all these layers that we've created so that we have a strong bass to play the melody and then it sounds nice and not just the melody and that's it. So I'm starting in Do Do, that's in Spanish, I'm sorry, it's C. you want to play uh, with a lot of vibrato again so that it sounds really nice okay so and then I change to third position with my third finger this one right here and I play in the D string so what I do is change to first position again okay so the, the A I play it in third position with my second finger and then I change to G sharp okay then again again I'm changing here from third position with my second finger in D So remember to use a lot of vibrato in this part. So I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play this first part with my metronome. Un, dos.
second part starts at third position again because that's the most comfortable for me so I start with my second finger again so it goes I'm just changing the strings from D to A and then making vibrato and then from first position and making a huge 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 glissando so glissandos are something that I use very often in this piece because it just makes it more interesting than rather than just making it like okay so it, it depends on the style that you wanna that you wanna achieve but for me it sounds nicer with glissandos okay so I'm sorry the lighting is changing it's just uh, my memory was full so I had to turn on my computer and then pass all the videos to the computer and then charge the camera again so I'm sorry but we're gonna continue with the tutorial right now starting from the D string just remaining in third position and then changing to first position And then we're gonna change up to third position again. So this part you you have to play it two times, okay? And then it repeats again, but it has a slight change. So the trick here is to make a slight glissando with your fourth finger. And then the vibrato very strongly right here. Okay, so as you can see, the melody is just repeats itself and has a slight changes. It's just that you have to add your personal touch to the piece so that you make it yours, okay? So some people don't like to play a lot of glissando, some people do. Some people just play it more dramatically, others more classically. Whatever you want is fine. I'm just showing you how I personally like it and how my video was recorded and, and so all the tips that I'm giving you is just my personal opinion, okay? Okay, so on top of all this, we have another melody. That's when they sing na 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 Okay, so what I do here is just This just goes in some parts of the song. Okay, so for this part, you're gonna start off with your middle finger again. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is not offensive, okay? So it goes in A string right here, an open string, and I just make it's just a little um, arrangement, I guess. It's just for fun, you don't have to make it, you can make it like simple however you like it. so notice how in in every note that I can I make tiny tiny glissandos within the same note so without glissando it would sound like this You can also avoid the open string because it tends to sound very different from when you play with your fingers, okay? So you can make it with your fourth finger, the, the E note, okay? So it would go like this. So as you can see, with everything that I add or I just avoid, it makes the song sound different. So you can make it more simple in the beginning and then start to add up things as you go. And then the song won't be as boring, okay? Because as I was saying, the song is the same harmony over and over again. So I'm gonna play it with metronome. 
1, 2, 3, 4. Another variation that you can play in this piece is just playing it on a higher octave. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay? Right here on the E string and with the third finger, this one, on the no D sharp. And then I change to first position. And with the same finger, I'm gonna make a glissando right here until I reach A on the same string. So David Garrett plays it with a lot of uh, glissandos and also, so that's the style I like. But you can, as I was saying, you can also make it just a little bit more simple and just play like. It's just your preference. And then continuing with this higher part, you have to repeat the same part again. And then you remain in third position. Okay, so watch my bow now. See what I'm doing? I'm making an accent upwards, okay? And I'm also just making little jumps on my bow so that it sounds more like the style of that I like. So the next part, it's a little trickier, so I'm gonna show you the, the fingers that I use. We're gonna be moving from third position to F sharp with our third finger. I'm gonna show you a little bit more in depth what I'm doing. So I'm doing from this a lot of vibrato in F sharp and then D sharp with my first string. Okay, so you've gotta make sure that the first finger that you're putting here is very, very strongly pressed because that's gonna be your base so that you know where the E is with your third finger, okay? So here it goes. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a glissando right here. And then you can make it like that or you can make it like And then changing to third position with your fourth finger. And then continuing the melody. Okay, so as you prefer. And then the next part is... So... You have to make sure that the F sharp is very, very well intonated. Okay, so as you can see I'm making the change with this finger, with the second finger, until I reach the B. And then I change the position to the C with my first finger. And then making a glissando again with my first finger until the first position. Repeating again. You can make it from here until the F or you can make it from right there on, uh, already in the position. It will be easier. Just use the second finger again in the A, in your A string. 
so it's gonna be A, F sharp, That's it, we finished. If you would like to hear what all this together sounds like, please don't forget to check out my video. It's here on my channel. I put a lot of effort in it. I edited myself, everything, and the, and the recording, I did it as well. Tell me if any of these tips were helpful for you in the comment section below. And also tell me, please, which song would you like me to cover next? so that you can see it on my channel, I can make a video on it. You can search for all my social media as Priscilla Music and don't forget to share with your friends, okay? Bye.